Hi, my name's Chris and welcome to my channel Maverick Next Gen, a channel about the Remarkable 2 and how to use it for better thinking in this digital age. Today I'm going to talk to you about how to use the cut and paste functionality, but more specifically the cut. Because we all know that cutting things in the Remarkable 2 is fantastic, you can move it from place to place and to-do lists for example. What I have found, having experimented with it, there's other ways of making the cut more efficient. So I'm going to show you a how-to and we're going to dive in right now. I attended an EdTech World Forum for higher education and this was the agenda for the day. There were so many sessions. For each session, I created an independent page. When I was trying to get to the first session, I was trying to capture it using the cut tool. And of course, because it's so small, I was finding problems trying to get hold of it. When I was playing around with the cut tool, I found a few shortcuts and things that were interesting about how clever the Remarkable 2 is in terms of figuring out what area or what object you're trying to cut. And so I thought, I'll give you a little tutorial on what I found. Let's go into it. Here is an English nursery rhyme, one, two, buckle my shoe, and I'm going to use it to demonstrate what I found. When you write words or draw images, your pen, let's, I'm just going to tell you this for free, is that your pen, when you put it on the page, the lines that are drawn are independent little components of what is seen. So as you can see, when I draw one, I put an O down, an N, and an E. So they're three objects. What you have here is methods in which you can highlight the word and I'm going to go and run through what I found because you all know let's go and select the selection tool this obviously does it justice intuitive right of course and then equally you could go oh yeah squiggle squiggle but why would you do that what I have found is that if you want to save time then these are a few options that you can take these lines that are bold and I've used a marker pen for that indicate the way you should draw and select the word. So step one, you do not actually need to complete your perimeter around the object. So what I mean by that is, have a look at this. Right, one. Okay, that's one way of doing it. Two, it's just working out the area where your, your pen at the start and finishes. It's quite clever. And with this, I'm just gonna demonstrate how other things work. So if you think, oh, well, that's good. Look at that. Now, of course, you know, the bu buckles each letter is its independent stroke. And because of what I've shown you is by, by virtue of doing the L-shaped, it's drawn a diagonal to take into account of the letter. It's quite clever, isn't it? Now, the next one, my shoe, three, four, knock. Again, you can shortcut this by, you don't have to do the nice curvy thing. You see, just for demonstration. Similarly, um, I keep going along. You see that at the door. I'm going to leave this um, paragraph for later because I wanted to demonstrate how small text performs when you're using these techniques. Now, 13, 14, maids are counting, 15, 16. Again, let's just do that. Okay. It works it out, right? So anything under the, the triangle or the the angle that you do, as long as it's within that area, it'll it'll capture it. Similarly. Okay. Do that. But actually what I'll do is do that. Again. Fifteen. Sixteen. It doesn't have to be tight or proper. I mean, the other thing is I've put this exclamation mark because let's just demonstrate what we've learned. So, yep, yep, yep. And, you know, it's, it all works. You don't have to do this. It's very nice. I'm not stopping you. Now, with the this section, this is probably the most important part. With the paragraph, more things are at stake here. So it's quite amazing considering the fact that it selects it correctly. I mean, let's put this to the test. Now, notice with this last one, 
because I when I drew it my pen tip just caught the tip of the, the letter T the vertical T and it didn't grab it so let me make sure that the pen goes slightly higher nope. and there we go one thing that struck me was I'm interested in about the borders and how the does this rim actually count towards a pen stroke I was in the assumption that it wouldn't work but it does so in theory what I'm saying is, is that as soon as you cross that border that boundary it shouldn't recognize anything but it still allowed me to pursue my route again onto the page which is why this is extraordinary really so let's try doing it across notice I went off the page twice wow that is fantastic I mean sure it picked up the T of the 8 the, ver the horizontal but isn't that interesting? So it's very capable and the other thing that I'll, I'll mention is that if you do this it will clearly take in the words that are in that area. Let's do it the other way. Now that we, you know how to cut an object efficiently let's see how you paste it. So coming back to the agenda of my EdTech World Conference I'm going to demonstrate how to get a list of points as in the sponsors maybe and just put it in another page or a notebook so the step two is to paste so I'm going to go and do the selection again and what I'm going to do is demonstrate what you have here is the paste and cut tool so you need to cut your selected one first so if you cut that can you see what's happened at the bottom here it says clipboard clear clipboard or copy to clipboard and tap page with marker to paste and actually what's you can't see it but to the right there there's a symbol which indicates the paste I'm going to just demonstrate it here on the same page can you see that so that symbol is the paste and that symbol is the cut so I can do it again and I'll have double okay. anyway straight on the same page if you want to paste to another notebook you simply have to navigate to one so I'm going to go to a quick notes sheet quick sheet and this is a blank one it still has the ability to paste because with this black line at the bottom it tells you that you have tapped with the marker to paste so you do it so what I'm going to do now is I'm going to demonstrate how to cut and paste it into a, a notebook a different notebook so what we have to do is you cut oops sorry can you see that I didn't quite get the whole place there you go. and you click the cut button and now that black rectangle at the bottom is indicating copy to the clipboard tap any page with a marker so I am now going to go to the notebook that I just created it is test cut paste and can you see it's still at the bottom and I tap if I go to a new page we still have the tap with marker to paste again paste I hope you enjoyed that and found it useful. If you did like it, please smash the like button and hit my subscribe button and the notifications bell for more videos to come. And check out my how-to playlist and other videos if you're interested. Thank you.